How are we all doing? Ralphie here, Ralphie Customs. Let's make a swing on them. <laughs> Righto, up on the bench again is our mix Triumph Swing Arm. Do you know what? I'm fucking really liking that. Um, what we've got to do is replace this with, I think we're going to go twin rail, two rails with uh, my pillbox adjusters on the back. Fresh shock amount, well, fresh swing arm, everything. So fresh everything. Um, it's going to be one of them, we're going to develop it as we go jobs. So first thing is to make the pillbox adjusters for the back. Let's get on that. Right, so we've found me a sketch of these pillbox axle plate type things. And I'm going to make them a little bit wider for the purposes of this. I'm going to go 50 mil, so 5 mil wider. Um, they consist of a bit of 10 mil plate with some bits of tube modified and, and you'll see as it, as it goes like if you've not watched me make these before then you'll see how they work out first thing we need to do obviously is cut the material so we need a couple of pieces of this uh, 45 mil long and a couple of pieces of 50 by 10 mil flat 75 long i think we're gonna go so let's get them cut up okay so the new uh, new bandsaw blade cutting things a lot straighter than the old bandsaw blade did and it's making short work of putting these out as you can see let's just wait for that to finish and then we'll get the other one done and cut the pieces of flat ready for the milling machine come on First up, we're going to face these up and they need to be 45mm long, don't they? So, your new bandsaw blade, although far superior than the old one, is still putting a bit wonky donkey, as you can see by this interrupted cut on the, on the sword end. Saw? Is that the right word? Saw end? On the cut end? Here we go. So, we'll get that smooth. Like so. Just check that we've caught it all. Yeah. Break that edge. Break that edge. And now we've touched the tool off on the face of the chuck and zeroed a readout. So when we place that in there up to the chuck, now we've faced it. Could be happy days. Should be running true, but it looks like it's shaking like a shitting dog because of the sawn ends. Anyway, you can move a tool in to 45mm, is what I'm talking about saying, not saying. So, we can turn this down until we get to minus 45 will be coming up in a minute, coming up, here we go, 44.4, 44.2 mil, and then 44.2 mil, so we're going to go with Break that edge if we can. No, we can't. Too much of a bird going on there, Ralphie. Slow it down a bit. There we go. Happy days. Break that edge. And now that's at 45. Still got a bit of a bird there. Not to worry. We can clean that off in due course. And now we need to do a quick weld prep, so I've zoomed you out. You can see me changing tools, look. See my sham for a tool, man. Yeah, and we need to give one end only. 
a good well prep. Like I reckon that will do nicely. Right, oh, next up, we're going to split them rings steady away. And fortunately for me, they sit nicely in this cutout on the saw, so that marks centre for me for the first cut. Uh, hang on, let's get that started. Like, oh, no. like so. So, we've got the other one in to stop it fucking to hold it, help it hold like, and we can get this cut through in short order uh, once they are cut I label them up and they stay as a match pair so this one will always stay the two after this one will, will stay together like so through there down onto the next one and this will become A alright with them uh, cleaned up and weld prepped on that cut that we've just done on that edge we can turn our attention to the actual plates themselves. Look, these are going to sit one each end, like that, only better. And then there'll be a slot in the middle, a piece welded in the gap, and these corners will all be rounded off. And Bob's your answer. So I'm going to set these over to the bridge port, um, and we'll get the ends squared up. Then we'll get them squared to length. So we'll clean them up, and we'll make them 75 mil long. Right, oh, so we've got them in the vice, set on a couple of parallels, you can't see. Uh, I've got just got a roughing mill. It ain't got to be the greatest finish in the world. I just need it nice and flat. Most of it's going bye-byes. Um, and it's all going to be cleaned up afterwards. So what I'm going to do is reach around you, a bit awkwardly, and just touch that off, like so, and have a very light cut until we clean it up, that's what I said, right, so we're just going to work away backwards and forwards until we touch all of it, so we've got a nice square end, which is going to benefit us when we come to put in the slot, so a little bit more. We're just doing the milling version of what you've just seen me do with those rings, aren't we? We're just squaring them up and getting them to size. We could probably go a teeny weeny bit more. Let me just introduce some anchor lube because that's what all the cool kids are using, I could say. Little drop of anchor lube. And another very light cup. Then we'll flip this part, do the same, measure it, and take off the necessary material to get us to 75 mil. So we've touched all of that. Like I say, I'm not worried about the finish. Gooey stuff, isn't it? So we'll have that. Hey, fucking hell, we'll have that undone. We'll flip that over. Pushing down, I think. No parallels. Bit of a tappy tappy, like that. Tighten up, and then we're golden. Right, with them done, done to length, squared up. Uh, I've swapped over to my fly cutter, and I've just touched on here, and then I've lifted the nail ten thou. So we're going to take a ten thou fucking cut. If I've got my shit together. So scream if you want to go faster. Let's see how this pans out. And now we've flipped over and just going back the other way. I'm taking a lighter cut, it didn't need that 10 bar. I've gone 5 bar for this cut, and that's fine, you yeah. know. It hasn't got to be a precise thickness, I just need two nice flat, uh, reliable surfaces. Right, oh my fucking groovers and shakers, this is where we're at. So we've 
squared them up, we've cleaned them all up, we've welded them both together so we can cut the slots as a matched pair, which we need. Um, and we've marked out some sanity marks. 20 mil from each end is the centre of the end holes. Uh, and that leaves 35 centres and 17 and a half is bound in the middle of those two holes. So I'm going to rough them out. I want to try these fucking rotor brooch bits. I've used them for stuff and really fucking like them. Normally I'd uh, drill this out with a 17 mil drill bit or similar. And then go in with a 5.8 cutter. Uh, and take it out to 19 mil, square it all up and clean it up. I want to see if these will take a chunk out. That's 18 mil, that rotor brooch. Now, I'm taking a gamble, eh? Let's see how true it runs, hold on. Oh, fucking true. I'm taking a gamble, because if it, if it cuts more than a mil big, which I very much doubt it, uh, I might do a bit of scrap. I'm going to, yeah, fuck it. I'm going to get a bit of scrap and I'm going to run the rotor brooch through it, I think. See how it cuts. See if that's easier than running a drill bit through. It's worth a play with them, ain't it? See how it goes. Right, so I'll put a stop on so I can set this back up without fucking about. My DRO's all uh, zeroed as well, so we, if we end up moving something, then all is not lost. Uh, and I've just put, oh, I've just put a load of ankle lube everywhere because it's sloshed out the fucking tub. Look. There we go. See what this does. There we go. Nice and steady. Give it a shake on. Ippy, ippy shake. Lock everything off, Ralph. Like you're supposed to. A bit more looby doo bit. Here we go. Well, that cuts lovely, don't it? Look at that. Nice and steady. Much nicer than a big old drill bit would. Okay. What's the swarf? All I'm doing is trying to see what size hole it drills. Basically. So there we go. That's that through. Let's have a measure. <laughs> Don't forget folks, our fuck stock stickers are now available in our Etsy store, link in the description below. Fuck stock, you know it makes sense. So we're going to deburr, and uh, I'm not sure how in shot any of this is. I'm going to say that is 18, I'm getting 18.37, 18.4. Yeah, I can't get in very well here. 18.34, 18.35, 18.4. So it's certainly not 19. 18.48. So 18 and a half max. I reckon that'll do it. Now I can motor broach is the way forward. And Hopefully, it'll spit the plug out, so we ain't got to fuck about getting the tool in and out. Alright, broach to broach it is, fuck it, eh? So we've, we've swapped over to Squibby Anchor Lube, because <coughs> that brush on tub fucking helps me create a right mess. Anyway, we've popped the part back in against the stop that we fitted. The DROs are all zeroed out, so we know we're golden that way. And we know that this rotor broach ain't going to cut an hole bigger than we need. So. <coughs> we're just steady away I could run it a bit quicker to be fair but what's the point you know what I mean so here we go Ooh. we're almost through what's going on there then we're through the first one and it he's jammed the fucking thing in he's jammed the fucking plug in let me get a pick bear with well, we've just picked that out of the way, look, that's stopping it. That was spinning against the second surface and just polishing the surface, not cutting. But at least it's not stuck up its arse, like. Stuck up its bum, eh? So we can go through the second one. Like so. And then what we'll do, we'll move it along 35mm as per uh, instructions. 
Come on, baby. I, I don't want to get this one stuck either. I want that to clear. Let me see. Hold on. Is that cleared? Yes. So we'll move it that way 35 mil. Hold on, bear with. Let's just undo you up and send you along. 34.9999. Thirty-five mil. Lock the bed off and go again. Like so. Now these rotor brooches, in my very, very limited experience, are not the happiest of campers when you're doing an interrupted cut, which I think the middle's going to work out too. So that'll be interesting, won't it? There we go. Nice and steady. That's that gone through. Pick that bit out. Excuse me. Go oh, bastard out. Oh, chips are hot. Blow in the bag then, sir. There we go. Through with the second one. Nice and steady. So, I've got to thank. Oh, Foxy, if you're watching, I know he watches them all, our aid. There we go, and then 17 and a half, because he made me a gift of a set of these rotor brooch bits. And I'm really grateful. 17.5, come on. It's, uh, it's a long segment, this is, ain't it? Look. Been watching me do this. If you're not into machining, you could have gone and made a brew, couldn't you? Well, if you're not into machining, I guess you wouldn't be watching. See what this does then. Right, everything's locked off, brace yourself. Scream if you want to go faster. It's just breaking through. To the, uh, the first two holes that I've put, like, just. Just about having it. So. I think that's a success, I do. I think the rotor brooch gets the job. There we go. Rotor brooch gets the job. And the job gets done. That's red out like this. Look. Should we grab it? You reckon I should grab it? You reckon? And what is it? Ooh, fucking hot. Here we go. Then. Last one. Squirt a lube because that's what separates us from the animals. Check out the merch in the description below. And once this is done, we'll get all the shit blown off it and we'll swap out to a nice little... I've got some new old stock 7 16 end mills. And I reckon... That'll make short order of cleaning it out, making it a proper slot. right out. This is uh, full transparency. Uh, it's 6 o'clock in the morning the following day and I've come in and started again. I fucked them right up. Them last ones, I made a proper error. I'll show you look. Don't ask me what happened, but Drongo came in, Bozo, and we had a brain fart, and I've squared the end... <laughs> fuck off. I've squared the ends of the slots off instead of leaving them round. Now, structurally speaking, it don't make any difference at all, because the spindle don't rely on registering in these radii for its structure-like, so that you get away with that, but I can't live with it. So I've got up early, and I've come in, and I've made another pair. Uh, I've robo-broached them, rotor-broached them out, sorry where I was before uh, and edited the video back so you won't know anything about it so keep quiet right what we're going to do now is we're going to nibble these middles out oh, hold on wait there I'm just going to move along <coughs> excuse me to halfway and I know from the one you've not seen me do that this Push, push through that, just peach you. Like so. And that will make it much easier when it comes to milling the slot out. Righto, so we've swapped that uh, cutter for an 18 mil end mill. Let me just reach around. And we've gone back to zero on there, so what we're going to do is just use that and we'll go about halfway and then we're going to work it 
down the slot. Maybe not halfway. Let's have a look. I reckon we can take them peaks off with this end mill. Like so. Yeah. So we use the old Joe Pye plunging method to nibble those bits out, the remaining peaks. And then we can run it backwards and forwards to clean the slot up. And it should be about 18 mil. And we want 19, so we're safe. So we'll lock that off there, give it a squirt of lube uh, and we'll move along until we're at that end which is 35 mil which is just coming up come on that's it, we're clear at that and then we run it back the other way just to clean the slot up now Happy days. Nice and steady away. And then we can have a measure. We'll get to the other end very shortly. Back to zero. We'll have that out of the way and we'll have a measure. So, just coming up now. There's my zero, nearly. Come on. Come on, baby, there, bang on zero, that way. So we shut that off. Unlock that. Move it out of the way. And we should be a clean-up pass off of 18, uh, sorry, 19 mil. Now, unfortunately for me, my digital vernier fucking died this morning. The screen's gone. So we're back to mechanical. I've had to have a route about in the box. And... Uh, Get me a mechanical one out, like so. So we'll have a measure, we'll see what we need, um, and we'll just give that a quick clean up, like you've just seen, to get us where we need to be, I reckon. I might have to get the uh, spring gauges out. I think we're on 18.22. I do, but I'll have a proper measure, and we'll work it out off camera. Right, with my snap gauge, yeah. And my analog vernier and my early morning, I'm shitting it. But I reckon we're on 18.4, which needs, hold on, wait there. And I want 19, by well, 19.2 I want, so that's uh, 0.8 to come off the slot, which is 0.4 each side. So I'm going to move. Along, I'm going to give it a squirt of lube, look, look. and I'm going to move to me, 0.4, like that, take a light cut, and then we're going to send it, like so, so, we'll do this all the way around. So we'll go 0.4 this side, 0.4 the front side, then to 0.8 and 0.8. But we'll have the measure in between just to check my sanity. Right, that's happy days. Those of you that are observant will have noticed that I said about moving each side to 0.8 when I actually only wanted 0.8. So 0.4 of a cup, which is what I did initially, got me where I needed to be. Good job on the early morning sanity check. So, oh, it's not the best end, is it? What's that end like? So the spindle is about there. I'm going to give it a quick spring pass just to clean it up and we'll call that done. There we go. <laughs> Ain't that better? What a wanker. Right. It is. Hold on, bear with. Quarter to eight in the morning. So that's took me. 
an hour and well, about an hour and a half to get back where I was. Now what I'll do, I'll take these welds off, uh, separate them, and we can look at getting these ends tacked in. All we do is level it up on the three points, uh, put a square down the middle to make sure that the ends are in line, and then we'll get a tack on each corner. I'll do all that off camera, because this video is dragging out a little bit, so there's probably going to be a part two. Okie fucking doke it. There we are, look. They're tacked on. Tacked on. There we're all happy. So, what I'll now do is uh, cut some strips 45mm long, by however wide that is, and square them up and get them uh, tacked in place. And then it's quite, a, well, not quite a bit of, uh, a bit of welding and quite a bit of fucking grinding and sanding to get these corners off and profile these where we want them nice and clean. So I'll probably do most of that off camera. Like I say, this video is getting a bit long. You've seen enough engineering, it's just a bit of fab work. I'm gonna cut four strips that fit in these gaps and weld them in. That will be happy days. And there they are, freshly welded and hotter than a pistol. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have a brew, unbeknownst to you. I'm gonna sit and I'm gonna have a coffee uh, and then I'm gonna get grinding I'm going to use my uh, cutting disc, put a fresh one in to trim the corners off and use my flap disc to get them about in shape and then I will put a fresh fucking belt on the old fucking whatever it's called, lumberjack, they're made for wood you know, uh, and give it a dress up which I'll probably do off camera, I mean fuck me, you don't need to see me fucking grinding, sandling, sandling and fettling even, do you? Hey, no you don't, no, nearly went into Professor Unwin then, here we go. Sneaky peek look, one down one to go, it's hotter than a pistol so, we'll use the pliers, uh, these have turned out really sweet, so that's cleaned up lovely with lots of offing and puffing and a little bit of blowing my house down we will uh, get on and make this other one look like that one right and I'm going to wrap this segment, this video I've had a check we're up on fucking half an hour ish so I'm, gonna, I'm not going to show you me finishing these off completely um, what I've done off camera is started to make the cover plates for these and it's just a nice bit of flat with some tube that sits inside of this this is that this is the material made the ends out of so it, they sit like that look yeah and basically I hate that filler word we drop that on the fucking doodah mark round it and put a guide in place and then put that in place and hold it down with the third hand and tack it with the tig do that both sides and then tig them in and that will give us a good start we is red off a good start to that end cover um i need to drill and tap a couple of retainers a couple of m4 grub screws both sides and then shape that to suit more welding and grind more grinding and sanding so i'll get that done off camera if you really want to see me doing a load of grinding and sanding then let me know in the comments below but i think it would be like fucking washing paint dry myself anyway yeah i'll just drop on then quit the red art i'm gonna let them cool down a bit so time for the second brew of the day and uh, then we'll get those clamped together shaped up grub screwed in bob's your answer and here we go look here they are with them ends on one of these is up. That one. <laughs> Here they are with the ends on. A couple of M6 bolts, I'll hold them on. Not sure about the front one with the rails when it's a swing arm, maybe a grub screw and then an Allen bolt like cap head. Don't know. We'll sort that out. But that is one pair of pillbox wheel adjusters. Very much made. In it, let's grab a fucking screen grab while we're here. Look, you'll see this on the thumbnail happy days so there you go now if you've made it this far i've got to thank you for sticking with it and give a quick 
not a disclaimer, but um, those that know me well uh, know about long-term medication that I've been on, and I came off one last year, and I've just started coming off another one. Pre-gabbling, look it up, Lyrica. And to be fair, it's knocking me about a bit, so I can only apologise if the quality of videography uh, leaves a little to be desired. Please bear with me, and uh, it leaves me as always to say, if you like what you see, give me a thumbs up, give me a sub, and check out all the bump in the description below. And I'll catch you on the next one. Big love, everyone. See you soon.